Good morning, Flare Fishing fam. Well, I don't know if it's morning when you're watching, but right now, it is morning, and I'm going fishing today. Gonna hit up a juicy little pond. Unfortunately, not gonna be, not gonna be taking the 10-pounder today, but my buddy Ethan and I, you guys know Ethan. Ethan's like the OG fishing partner. I used to fish high school tournaments with him. I filmed a, I filmed a decent amount of videos with him, but we're going to a pond I don't think I've been to since I was like 16. So we're talking four or five years ago. I actually, I think I have a clip, or I have a video on YouTube from this play. I'll just roll the clip. Got him. Yeah, that's a good one. He's probably only three and a half to four. So yeah, as you could tell, the quality was great. I was filming that video on a toaster, believe it or not. And uh, that's where we're going, hoping we're gonna catch some big fish. I don't believe it's been fished in like a couple years, but more importantly, check this shirt out. Right here, we got the pig fish shirt, all right? You know, you know, be catching them pigs. This is, uh, this is it right here. Right here, 48 hours only. This guy right here is available. I will link it down below if you want it. I'm going to be doing something special. So you guys know I'm giving away a fishing trip. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to include this in that. So if you pick up this shirt, this shirt right here, in the next 48 hours, I will automatically enter you into winning the fishing trip. You know, I've got the hats. Brand new flare gear. If you guys are unfamiliar with this, I dropped a whole line of new products. Check it out down below, but like I said, I'm giving away a free fishing trip, and I will enter you guys, if, if you guys pick up this shirt right here in the next 48 hours, I will enter you in to win it. So, if you guys want to come fishing with me, you want a chance to come fishing with me, click the link in, down in the description and uh, and pick this dude up. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool, it's just something different, I don't know, I, I actually, this thing took a while to design, but anyways, that's what's going on right now, I've got to take the old Tundra truck over to Ethan's house right now. He's going to be driving us out there. I think we got to drive like a couple hours or so. But anyways, I think it's going to be a fun time. I'm back in Nebraska chasing Nebraska brutes. Stay tuned. Oh, all righty. Making my way down to the pond. Oh, super shallow. Try the chatterbait. Starting off with the old green pumpkin chatterbait. It's a classic. This time of year, springtime. Can't go wrong with the bluegill color. Man, this is shallow. A little hidden, hidden pond here. We're gonna see if it's a hidden gem. Lipless cranking, here we go. Digging time. Double up real quick. Yeah, they're just fucking black. There's one, there's one. They are eating it after you get in the grass. You gotta rip it free from the grass. There we go, boys, I'm hooked up. Yes, sir. Wasn't I, was I not just telling you about it, this flat, how I caught it? Yeah, so you guys could see Ethan's hooked up. We're both throwing the red lipless cranks this time of year. It's like, it's pretty much the only time of year I throw red, but for some reason, like the first, that first month when that water is going from 40s to 50s, that works right there, baby. All right, see you later, little buddy. Over there, buddy just caught a freaking six. So uh, clearly we're at a fire pond. Right now we're fishing this little grass flat looking area. Just cranking them along. Yep, on the chatter bait. Yep. Decent. Oh, we doubled again? We're doubled again, folks. I was throwing that lipless out there and uh, decided to mix it up with the chatterbait. So again, we're just fishing over grass, which again, chatterbait and lipless are the best, the best baits for that. Let's see, there you go. You got a little chunky one. Ethan and I literally just got back-to-back -back doubles. These aren't big fish, but I mean, this time of year, well, I shouldn't say this time of year. This time of year is usually actually really good, but since uh since nebraska's like to be snowing since uh well pretty much up until last week right here that's what i just caught that fish on little bluegill bluegill looking chatterbait and again ethan's throwing that red lipless i just caught one on the red lipless this time of year my two favorite baits is a green pumpkin chatterbait red lipless crankbait for some reason red always works whether you have crawfish in your lake it doesn't even matter there's no way there's bright red crawfish in this lake but the red pisses them off in the spring. Every spring for the last three years, these have been my two my two go-to baits. Alongside a jerk bait, but honestly, I haven't caught too many numbers on jerk baits. It's there's another one. It's mainly just chatter baits and lipless, folks. Just like that. Just cranked another one. Oh, he didn't even know he was hooked. He didn't even know he was hooked. 
Now he knows. Get in here, big guy. He's a little bit better. Now we're talking. These guys are just little Nebraska brutes. Fire pond fishing is what we're doing right now. And uh, there we go. See you, buddy. If I were to guess, water times are probably in the low 50s, maybe high 40s. It's still pretty chilly. Nope, just grass. So there he goes. He ate it. Uh, he ate it out of the grass. Decent one, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I love fishing out of the grass because it's like you get stuck and then you snatch it free and they just smoke it. The one two punch with the chatterbait and the lipless. This is crazy. Did you get smoked? We got doubles again. Oh my gosh. This is, the, this is the juiciest pond of them all, folks. Just little guys. We know there's big ones in here. We do know there's big ones. See, buddy? Like I was talking about earlier, Ethan and I came here. Was that three years ago at least? You might have been 15. I think I might have been 16 last time we were here. And uh, I remember Ethan, he caught he caught big ones, like sevens. So they're, they're, they're got to be up there in the, the eights and nines by now. So we're hoping one of us stumbles on an absolute giant. Bass. There he is again. Yep. Got him going on the chatterbait now. Here we go. We got him fired, folks. Pretty much every cast. Just a squeaky little guy. We definitely need to come back here when it is weeded and punch, punch and uh, trog fish. You got one? Now we're doubled. Now we're doubled. See, buddy. And I'm throwing them so far because it's so shallow. No hate. All right, I'm not trying to kill these fish, but. That's how it was, man. I caught twos and threes, about 70 of them, and then I caught. Just one giant. That might be it. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. I don't think it's an absolute massive fish, but I think it's bigger than the other ones. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one. Now we're upgrading, folks. Now we're upgrading. There you go. There's a big one. Come on now. Come on now. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Mixed in. We got on the chatterbait again. Mixed in with all those. We've got that guy. That's He's probably right about three pounds. We are upgrading slowly but surely. Just got to weed through the little guys because those are usually the ones that are the most aggressive. You just smoke one, another double. That's like seven doubles in a row. He hit that on the top water. I'm going to get this guy back in the water. Go back. There you go. It's going to happen. One of us is going to catch a massive fish because, again, those those little squeakers, they're actually the most aggressive because they just, you know, they see the bait. They're, they're going to just crunch it. They don't think twice. So once you get all those guys gone, that's when you catch Big Bertha. Yup. Oh, no, he's still there. I thought he popped off. I thought he popped off. There's another one. I'm sure you guys are getting real tired of me just catching all these fish. I don't even have to stop and start the GoPro. I can just keep catching them over and over and over. One of us, I'm waiting. One of us is going to catch massive fish. Let's see, buddy. If you guys watching want the rod, the reel, the line, the lure that I'm using or Ethan's using, I will try to link everything down below if you guys are interested in buying any of the gear we're using today. All right, we are going to try the jerk bait just because I don't have confidence in it, and clearly these fish are biting whatever. I haven't caught a jerk bait fish this year. I'm going to see if we can change that right now. I think it should work because right now we're fishing grass, so if I can basically keep this thing suspended above the grass, they should smoke it. Yep, first cast. First cast. That's when you know you've got them dialed, boys. That's a decent one too. That's a decent one. Come here, little buddy. Oh, okay. Well, he came off. That's all right. I didn't really want to touch these troubles anyway. Let's see if we can catch another one. Yep, there it is. Now on the pause. That's the good thing about it. this thing will literally just sit above that grass, and they'll come up and eat it. They can't resist it. Oh baby, here we go. Come on now, get in here. That's a see, they're better, better fish on the jerk bait. There we go. There we go. Look at that. See, you just you didn't even eat it. He swiped at it, but these this thing's got three super sticky treble hooks. It's a super important part about jerk bait fishing is sharp hooks. You have to have them. So there we go. My first jerk bait fish landed. See buddy. The uh, the rod I'm actually using is the six stick. This is a 7.2 medium heavy. It's 
these six sticks are really awesome for moving baits because they're they're actually pretty soft. They're not really all that stiff. So when you're throwing something like a jerk bait, in order to make sure that you don't rip the trebles out, you have to have a soft rod. Same thing with any, I mean, basically any treble hook bait. There we go, there's another one, just like that. But you see, my rod's bending a lot. If it's soft like that, you won't lose as many fish. You're still gonna lose some fish, just like that. I just lost a fish, but you're not gonna lose as many. There's one. Crank on them. The other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to set the hook super hard. You don't want to set it like a frog. You just kind of want to lean into them and just keep pressure. And the, basically the trebles will set themselves. And Ethan and I are doubled again. Oh, I'm water skiing mine. That's when you know it's an absolute giant. That's when you know you're catching the big ones. There he is. Yep, chatterbait. That's a good one too. Yeah. Yeah, we got a decent one now, boys. Yeah, decent. First cast of the chatterbait. Yep, there we go. That's more the size we're looking for. Come here, buddy. There we go. Come on now. Come here, buddy. There we go. Just like the, uh, yeah, I mean, he's probably two and a half. Not giants, but not squeakers. Right there. Beautiful chatterbait. Yep. Yep, another one. Another one. Yeah. Another decent one. Come on, buddy. There. Look how fat these things are. He came with a little bit of salad. That's what they're hanging out in is this, all this vegetation. There's one. Lipless. On the lipless, just went from the chatterbait to the lipless first cast. That's what it's all about. You just mix it up. They're gonna get tired and used to that chatterbait. And you just throw something different in there and it catches them. It works every time when you're at a private pond that hasn't been fished in two years. Look at that chunker. Come here, buddy. There's one. Yep, there you go. Did you see me snapping the grass off and they ate it right as I'm snapping it off. That's also another great way to catch these fish is uh, throw it in the grass. It's really annoying because like 99 out of 100 cast, you're going to catch grass and not bass. And you have to continually just snap it out, snap it out, snap it out. And then the one time you snap it, it's going to load up and there'll be a fish on it. No dice on the big ones yet, but at least you guys are learning my spring techniques on how to catch fish this is literally textbook i know it's a pond i know this fish this place hasn't been fished in years and these fish are really dumb but you, you're still getting some knowledge on how to fish a jerkbait how to fish a lipless how to fish a chatterbait i mean fish are fish whether they haven't been fished for in years or they're pressured i mean you, you use the same techniques to catch them There it goes. Ate it on the fall. Ate it on the fall, folks. See? I'm telling you. So it was the one two punch, now it's the one two three punch. Hit him with the chatterbait, hit him with the lipless, hit him with the weightless stanko. Y'all are guaranteed to catch the biggins. See what I mean? Biggins only. Only catches the biggins. See you later, little squirt. That's a good one. Now nah, we're talking. There we go. 
Yep, that's what we're after there, boys. All right, I think that's the biggest one for me, or pretty close to about the same one. I didn't really say much. He didn't feel very big at the beginning. I haven't been showing you guys all my fish catches, only the big ones, but that's a decent fish there. See, buddy. That's a good one. That one felt better. Choked. Smoked that chatterbait right there. Oh no, it's not a big one. Oh, it's decent. Come here, buddy. Oh, it says fish number like 243. We've caught so many. My hands are starting to hurt. See, buddy? Can't really see them, but they're just, they're trashed. How many fish do you think you caught? Probably 200. 200 what about personally? How many do you personally think you got? 75? You definitely caught the most. Yeah. How many do you think you caught? I probably caught, yeah, 80, 90. So you're probably about 100-ish. Yeah. 100, let that sink in, folks, 100, and then 75. I probably caught the least. I probably caught around 70, or no, I probably caught like 60 maybe. And uh, so what's that? I don't know. I dropped out of college. I don't know what the math is on that. A lot. It's a lot of fish. At least 200 bass. Is what we caught today and you were throwing a lipless crankbait yep. red red lipless crankbait and a swim bait and i was throwing the senko chatterbait red lipless crankbait so the common denominator red lipless crankbait in the spring caught 200 bass at the fire pond that we were at today but we're gonna head back do ethan things and i don't know what he's got going on with his life but uh that's it that's that's the end of the episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit the like button drop a comment down below what you guys want to see next I mean, can't complain catching 200 fish. It's a pretty good day out on the water. Really do appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Remember, if you want to win a fishing trip with me, pick up the pig shirt. I'm wearing it under this. Link down below, as always. All the gear, link down below. Peace. Peace.